The Dexcom 15-day continuous glucose monitor is officially here. It is bringing 50% more wear time, improved accuracy, but it's not for everyone, at least just yet. So today I'm gonna get into all the information you need to know. Welcome to the show, I'm Justin, this is Diabetech. I have type one diabetes and on here I talk all things diabetes tech news and research. We've got a podcast on Mondays where I talk to industry leaders. I've got this show on Fridays where I dive deeper into the tech, my experiences with it, reviews, and our website diabetech.info where we write the latest news in articles. Today I'm getting into the rollout plans that Dexcom has in store for when you can get your hands on it the accuracy changes with the sensor, my experiences with G7 so far, what I'm hearing from the community, and what insulin pumps you can expect the new 15-day sensor to work with at launch and which ones will follow. I will be trying out the sensor and as soon as I do, you will know here. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a like so other people can find it. Oh, and by the way, this video is not medical advice. It's for educational purposes only. Always consult with your healthcare team before making changes to your treatment. Let's get into it. Who is this sensor for? It is for people 18 years and older. That means if you are 17 and younger, you're going to have to stay on the 10 day. Dexcom hasn't said if they're going to try and lower the age on this. I mean, I can only assume they will. I'll get into some other sensors, the competition, which do support younger ages at that 15 days. But for now, the 15 sensor is just for adults. Now, the 15 day is actually a 15 and a half day. It has the same 12 hour grace period that the 10 did. So you're gonna get 15 and a half days of wear. Oftentimes what people do is they put on their new sensor 12 hours before the other one expires during that grace period. So it can do what people call soaking. This allows the sensor to become more accurate over time before you're using those numbers with pumps. Personally, I don't soak my sensors, but I hear great success with others. Now with this sensor, it's the same app. No need to go download a new one, you're fine. But what you will need is a new prescription because instead of needing three 10 days, you're only gonna need two 15 days. So there's just a new process that needs to be done. And so you'll need to go to your provider in order to get these uh, by getting a new prescription. Let's talk about this accuracy because what's interesting here is that the form factor of this sensor has not changed at all. It is the same shape, the same adhesive, but it has an improved algorithm. In fact, the MARD or accuracy, the mean average relative difference of this sensor is 8% down from 8.2% from the other sensor. The lower is the better. Now the way Dexcom was able to achieve this is that the algorithm had a change where it is cleaning and interpreting that raw glucose data differently behind the scenes and therefore creating more accurate results. It's the same hardware though. You're not gonna see a change to it physically. Another reason that this will be more accurate is because there are less day ones. Oftentimes with most CGMs, that first 24 hours can be really spotty. And personally, I've, I've seen this with G7 that my first day is typically a spotty mess on the graph and then it smooths out. Now, because you're wearing these for 15 days instead of 10 days, you're gonna have 50% less day ones. Uh, someone correct that information and, and let me know in the comments, but you're gonna have less day ones, right? Just because you're wearing them less often. Now, when it comes to which pumps will work with Dexcom G7's 15 day, I reached out to Dexcom on Instagram and they told me. So first of all, Omnipod, wow, Omnipod 5 is going to work with Dexcom G7 15 day at launch. Wasn't expecting that from Omnipod because they typically lag, but I am so happy that that's working already. And the Beta Bionics Eyelet pump is also gonna work with the 15 day at launch. The only pump that won't yet are Tandem pumps, Tandem Moby and Tandem T-Slim X2. As soon as I hear more about Tandem pumps, I will let you know on diabetic.info, so make sure you subscribe to our newsletter with that link in the show notes. Now, the big question I've been getting on socials is will this last the full 15 days? Well, there is a new adhesive that was introduced in 2024 on Dexcoms to make them last longer. Personally, I found that they have lasted longer on my skin since that new adhesive came about. Stello, their sensor for people who don't have diabetes or have pre-diabetes, type two diabetes, not on insulin, that lasts 15 days. How well is it lasting for 15 days? I don't know. And if you do, let us know in the comments so we can start sharing our stories. 
Now, according to a study, Dexcom says that the 15 day sensors, about 26% of them won't last the full 15 days. Unfortunately, this doesn't mean that we're gonna get 26% more sensors. You're still gonna have to contact Dexcom and they will send you a replacement. I will say that my 10 day sensors have been lasting the full 10 and a half days. I haven't been having issues anymore. What about you? Are you having issues with your Dexcom G7 10 days? Let me know in the comments. There were a lot of issues when it came to goosenecking where the sensor wasn't going into the skin or people were having issues connecting to the app itself, but Dexcom says they've resolved those problems and I personally haven't had any of those issues in months. Now, I do believe that Dexcom has a lot of trust to regain in the community with this sensor, at least the tight-knit community and a lot of influencers, because I hear them saying a lot of things too. I'm writing an all access article all about how I believe Dexcom needs to regain this trust, like what I think are like the five things they need to do to regain trust in the community. So you can read that all access article on diabetic.info. They, they've got a lot to prove with this sensor because there was a rocky start when G7 first came out with sensor connection issues. That's resolved in my experience. And then these more recent issues um, have proved to be an obstacle for a lot of users. Now let's get into how this compares to other CGMs on the market. So its main competitor, the Libre 3 Plus, which I've reviewed on this channel, that works uh, with for people two years and older, and it has a 60 minute warm up, and it lasts 15 days with no grace period. So it is much younger that people can start wearing that and it lasts longer. It's also much smaller. Uh, there is that 60 minute warm up, and you can't overlap sensors. So you do go time without readings. There's also a couple sensors on the Medtronic system, which you couldn't use a Dexcom with anyway. Instinct uh, is one of them. And that is kind of like a Libre 3 plus, but for Medtronic, it's made by Abbott. That's for people seven years and older. And it's also got the 15 day wear, 60 minute warm up and no overlap. There's also the Simplera CGM for Medtronic that lasts six days, two hour warm up. Uh, it's just another sensor option for people. I've reviewed that on this channel as well, so you can check that out. Uh, I'll put the, a link in the show notes. Here's how rollout's gonna go for Dexcom G7. It is already out as of December 1st, and it's being distributed by DME first, Durable Medical Equipment Suppliers. In January, Dexcom plans to start putting it out through pharmacies. So if you've got a prescription, you wanna get it through uh, a delivery or at your local pharmacy, January is when you can start doing this. Now, this is for US residents only. There are no plans announced for international release. That said, I have a feeling it won't be too long until international users can start getting it, but I don't have information on that yet. But as soon as I do, there will most definitely be an article on our website. Ultimately, I am very excited that Dexcom has joined the 15 day game. Now we've got a bunch of options out there for people to wear them longer. The question still stands, will they last that long? For me, I think they will because the 15 day stays on very well. My skin has no issues, my sensor is accurate, and I hope that's the case for a lot more people moving forward. What comes next with Dexcom 8? Maybe that will be multi-analyte, maybe it will test ketones. We've got Abbott working on their own ketone sensor. They already have pump partners for it. There's a lot in store for future CGMs. We've got a few videos on our YouTube channel that you can check out next gen CGMs and uh, what CGMs are currently available. So you can watch those videos on this channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you know as soon as our videos come out, which are podcasts on Mondays and typically videos like this on Fridays. And yeah, give this video a like so other people can find it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.